our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Herb Dean, Ready. our referee for this Ready. one. Good. All right, early round action here, and the wins and bonuses just continue to pile up for the budding heavyweight contender, Tom Aspinall. Truly a five-tool player when it comes to his skills, but in this particular matchup, he believes the ground game is going to be his bread and butter. He believes we're looking at a submission finish here tonight. Fight behind a nice jab. Nice side there by the jam. Aspinall going for the takedown, but unable to land. shot lands to the leg. Another nice combination to the head. The kick is there to the body. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. More strikes to the head. Up to the head, lands flush there by Aspinall. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. Oh, nice jab to the head by Aspinall. Bleeding from his cheek now. Ooh, another shot to the head. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Under three minutes now to go in the round. And potentially a critical takedown here. Aspinall's in half goal. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Hook to the head there by Pavlovich. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. Tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Pavlovich. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Uh, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue down the path and make the break side position come in here to try to stop this fight. Under two minutes now to go. Aspinall's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Let's go. We need to score that now. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Hook to the head there by Pavlovich. Another take down lane. Pavlovich gets back up again. Nicely done. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Good jab there by the champion. You know what's crazy? It was like in MMA back in the day, guys didn't jab enough. It was all power shots. Now you see guys well more educated with that jab in that front hand. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You've gotta move, you gotta change something to try to deter him from going to that spot.
Final seconds of the round. Stuffs the takedown. Uh, round two straight ahead. Uh, All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high levels of explosion. Well, really playing that length when he landed that punch. Oh, a nice straight there by Pavlovich. Slips the punch. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Just misses with the jab. Oh, and landed some nasty strikes. No denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Oh, he's going Oh, we'll get the finish here. Well, this is not football. Targeting is legal, and he is going at that cut, which is getting worse with every passing ground strike. Oh, and he's back up again. Block that one. What a kick. That one landed. Oh! Oh! Who's that again? We march on three minutes to go. Pavlovich gets up and decides to take this fight back to its feet despite having a seemingly dominant position on the ground. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the game. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun, and hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your foot. No. Aspinall's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken, and we might get a ringside position. Oh, my goodness! And there it is! Huh? Huh? Sergey Pavlovich gets the finish! Holy... We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 49 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Sergey.